saved him the final six outs. Down the right field line, that is a fair ball by inches. Duplantis on his way to second. That looked like the same hit that gave Jake Mangum the SEC hit record. Well, you, you don't get 350 hits without hitting some tough pitches, and that one right there was up and in, but he muscles it just inside the right field line. This is actually a really tough pitch to hit. Watch this ball run just on the inside corner, but the ability to contract those arms and get enough of the bat, not flip it sideways, but keep the barrel square and dump it into right field. Looks like a bullet off the wall in the scorebook. Yeah, it counts. I mean, that's that's a double anyway. <laughs> Who wants it, Ray or Paul? The shortstop will take it. Kumar Rocker works his way. Another blazing hot finish. So five ribbies in game one of this tournament from him. Mm. Handcuff Garza. Scott reaches on a one-out walk. Blue shirt right in front of him. Mm. Fits through the left side. Here's Scott around third. And Ty Duvall is giving Bandy the lead. The throw got away from Reed, and it goes into the dugout. Another run will score. Duvall with an RBI single. He'll advance all the way to third. That's back to back to where Vandy has taken a 95 mile an hour fastball and shot it the other way. This time it's Ty Duvall. So the throw from Cabrera is going to come into third. Not a terrible throw. Fondo's got to be somewhere. I mean, when, when you're on the mound, the minute this ball gets through, you have one job, and that's to go back up somewhere. And in, in a play like this, you're trying to get midway between home and third based on where the throw comes in. But you got to be back there. You him another run. Here's Harrison Ray. And he smokes one past the drawn in infield. Duvall will trot home. Vandy's got an early lead, three zip in the second. It's impressive. That's three in a row, KP. Three in a row for this Vanderbilt offense. Devin Fontenot's got plenty on the baseball, but you're looking at some Vanderbilt hitters that. Then Matthew Beck and Zach Hess. Runner goes, throw to second, will come in on a hop. It'll get into center field, but no advancement for Ray. Seventeen stolen base here, and they picked the right one to go on. You just you, you knew Ray wasn't going to stand there very long. But ends up going on a pitch that was a breaking ball, so it's a little bit longer to get to Garza. Short hop there, even with a perfect throw. You're not going to throw Ray out. Now 17. Well hit to the gap in right center field. Duplantis tracked it down. Actually almost overran it. Caught it on his shoulder. To short, Ethan Paul. Ethan Paul's confident he got him. He's asking Tim Corbin to challenge that one. You be the judge. Watson giving you a hard 90 right here. And he got him. He's out. He's out. But let's still. Let's go real time. Let's see what we got here, Bucky. 3-8-4 on the swing. are moving. That, that's Ball's in the back of the glove. Yeah. He's out. But still, that, that's still, it's fun to watch him run. It's really fun to watch him run if he's going first to third. Confirmed. Better the second time. Yeah, thanks. You're always better at second guy off the tee, right? Uh-oh. Wow, that was yeah. way off the tee. He stripes it to right and into the pen. J.J. Bladade leads the nation in home runs. Walker was able to get ahead, but just couldn't put him away. And J.J. Bladé, as we said earlier, is just showing the ability to be on everything. There's a rolling breaking ball right into the sweet spot of that J.J. Bladé back path.
Watch him load up here and drop the head on a hanging breaking ball. Beautiful extension. Maybe you don't want to be the number one seed, being it's been so long since one of them won it. Miami is the only one to go in as number one and win it all. Uh, Where are you going with this? You see Santa Barbara beat Cal Poly to wrap up the Big West regular season title. That Can't. brings an automatic bid. That's that's big. That's big for those that are on the ball. Can you identify that he's actually throwing it for a strike? And number two, does he actually have the intent to throw the fastball over the plate? If he doesn't, then yeah, I think you eliminate it and just sit on that curveball. Oh. Swing and a miss. K number five for... Line drive to left, of course. Rising to the occasion, leadoff single. Second time LSU's put the leadoff man on. Morphing into a role, more of a bench player, pinch hitter type. Did you know about his grandpa, though? Here's a little flair to right field. LSU professor. Masters horticulture. Been working on strawberry breeding and new wine grape breeding programs. I, I didn't know that, Tom. Now I do. You've won. Tussle right there. <laughs> Chopper left side. Paul goes to second oh, for the out. And that will get a run home as Hal Hughes picks up an RBI fielder's choice, scoring Chris Reed. Yeah. Yeah. 80th pitch from Rocker. <laughs> Gets through. And they're going to send Hughes to third, and he'll stop there. Stranger things have happened with LSU baseball, for sure. Josh Smith works it all the way back to a 3-2 count. Gets a fastball. Not a bad position down in the zone, but that's the one Smith can really handle. You, get a, you can throw yep. about as hard as you want, but if it's down in the zone, Smith is usually going to cover it. Back up the middle. Team Everty. Get to the finals starting on a Tuesday. This year they were back playing on Tuesday again. See if this is deep enough. Catch made and left. And headed to second. Oh, wow. No. Got him. The run did not score in time. No way. The run's got to get across the plate before the play at second for the third out. Wow. This this couldn't have gone much worse for LSU here. Ethan Paul redirects the throw to second base, and they're saying the out was recorded before Hal Hughes touched home plate. And if that's the case, LSU is going to be kicking themselves for running out of this inning. Wow. Just as was originally ruled. Going, huh? Well, he looks good. Put two good swings on it yesterday. He really didn't have anything to show for it, but hit a ball to the track, lined out to Magum in center field. I think he's going to have some monster years. Facility in uh, Minnesota. <laughs> Popped up to left. Looking at tag and Fonte. Cabrera's throw will go to second. Eight to one, Vandy. Three ribbies for Paul tonight. That's the one he was waiting on. Mm -hmm. He just missed it. Got enough score to run, obviously. But Runner goes. Pitch is dropped by Garza, and it's a stolen base for Austin Martin. Yeah. Taking his bucket hat to North Carolina. A bid thief then in the Missouri Valley. They beat Dallas Baptist earlier today, and they've got him again tonight. Yeah, I think they're in already. Around third is Martin. He's going to score. The throw from Duplantis is cut off, and it's an RBI single for Steven Scott. Steven Scott stays red hot. Oh, I see what you did. See how I did that? Pat on the back for you, too. Mm -hmm. Line drive up the middle. Philip Clark coming around third. They're going to point him home, and the ball is dropped by Watson. We'll have to hustle to get it to third. And Vanderbilt tallies another.
Back to back hits for Scott and DeMarco. Some two out damage right here. Walk to Clark, single for Scott, single for DeMarco, who's hit it hard a bunch today. Second hit of the day, lined out to left field. A lot of that damage has been done on breaking balls, too. That looked like another one. There's your, what did you, what did you call it before? Little front zone length. Right front there. zone, uh, front zone length right there. There you go. Stay down and through it. Look at that. Uh oh. Wow. Lifted to right. Duplantis towards the fence. It's gone. Tied of all with his fourth home run of the season. Vandy's blown it open. Boy, the bottom of the lineup in this ball game has just been outstanding for Vanderbilt. And just when you thought Rapole had their number, they come out here in the sixth and put up a six spot on a hanging breaking ball by Ty Duvall. On time and on target, a rocket into the right field bullpen. Vandy stretches the lead to 13 to 1. What a lineup. Yep. For Rapol, too. Two runs in three games this week on 30 hits and four home runs. And the hits keep coming. Harrison Ray on his way to second. Berkey, how about his improvement over the years for Vanderbilt? Yeah, and I think it's in. I draft in two years. Lefty Hugh Fisher on the mound now. Comes in blowing 95. That's a fair ball down the line. Antoine Duplantis on his way to second base. Still running. Steven Scott finally gets to it. The throw to third is not in time. Whew. What a throw from Scott. Third on a ball down the third baseline. Ground ball up the middle, and nobody gets to it. And Duplantis will come home. And Antoine Duplantis with his 16th triple. He's past our buddy who is um, on his way home in the friendly skies today. School record 16th triple. Better than Todd Walker's 15. That one gets to the back step, and here comes Watson. He'll score. In. Stetson's pitcher threw 134 pitches yesterday. Dropped inside the line. DeMarco at third. He will stop there. And behind him, Ty Duvall pulls into second with two down. Cardinals? I don't think he did. No, I saw him spring training last year with the Twins. He was still, still running around, but he's in a good spot now. And that'll do it, Vandy. Vanny will miss for the whole thing tomorrow. Pretty convincing fashion so far for the Commodores here in Hoover.